YouTube is Kay Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a video, I guess I'll, that's going to be a part of my nursing series, like how to study. Throughout nursing school, I used a variety of different methods in studying. They all worked quite fine, I would say. Some better than others for different things, but here's how I study for med surge. During the time I was studying for med surge, I didn't have like a whole lot of time on my hands, so I guess this is, you could call this the efficient nursing studying. I think I was taking like 22 credits and like had a job, so blah. <laughs> so here's what I did, and I was decently success uh, successful. First, I would start off by um, printing out the slides, and in I would go to class. Medsurge is not a class that you want to miss at all. Don't even plan on skipping. That's not the one to do it in. I'll bring them to class, and then as I'm in class, I would write notes on them. If you are allowed to record in class, I would do that as well, just in case you miss something and you want to go back. Quick note, I find that writing out notes is a little bit more helpful because it makes your brain say pay attention this is important as opposed to typing you can literally type on autopilot and you won't get anything but if you are one of those people who need to type out everything then you look at it then that's fine as well too just as whatever helps you get the most accurate notes would be best so after notes are like this I'm not a visual person, so then I would have notes that look like this. Oh. I find that when I'm focusing and studying, it would be faster for me to use an outline like that. Um, just because I'm not visual and pictures just don't help me as much. As soon as I come from class, I would... All the notes, whether it's in this form or we had it this with all the added extra notes, I would record it myself. and. It, I would use this recording because although you might have a recording from your, your class with the teacher speaking, it's much faster for you to go through and then add in your tidbits and points and what you think you would forget in the exam into, the, um, into your recording. As well, I like to do recordings just in case the night before exam I have a headache, I can't study, I can't focus, um, my eyes hurt, at least I can review a little bit by listening to it. It's definitely not a primary mode of study. Um, I guess that what I say works best for me, but it's definitely something that helps because I believe repetition deepens the impression, so it's definitely added to one of the strategies in getting the material in my head. So I would go over the notes. The most important thing, especially if you don't have time, is you want to understand. I wouldn't even say cramming or mem memorizing. Some things you do have to memorize cold, like lab values, but general concept in terms of how systems work and how um, things relate to each other. So if you had a limited time, instead of trying to just cram it in, understand it. And after I'd go through the initial understanding period of, like I would rewrite right next to it what I got from that section and keep going through. And after I went through the notes once, I would do a whole bunch of NCLEX questions on those specific topics. On average for each exam, I did about 200. And why I did this was it would make my mind focus on what's important because you get a whole bunch of information in med surge and it's really overwhelming and you don't know what to focus on. And that's what makes med surge, I would say, so difficult is because there's just so much information. So having these questions to kind of focus what's important as a nurse, um, what's like the priority and focus, I found that practicing questions had my mind start to focus on those things in the lecture notes more. So after I went through the NCLEX questions, usually I didn't get a whole bunch right, but after looking at the rationales, I'll see, okay, that's like a priority type of thing, or this, um, that's something very critical that you'll be having to monitor as a nurse, and blah, 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 blah. After that, I would go back through the notes again and zoom into those points that I would often miss. And usually I would go through, if it was like the night before the exam, I would go through like four times. But each time I'm going through the material, I would go through some NCLEX questions as well. So the books that I used for this class was a textbook that came with the class and that was Med Surgical Nursing as well. And how I didn't... I felt like my notes were comprehensive enough so they worked fine so this is something like textbooks I typically use to look back as for reference 
or sometimes I would use like videos, um, other nursing videos and stuff for stuff, not necessarily like spending a whole bunch of time reading it, unless this was like before class and before I had everything to really glue stuff together, because I find when I have more information, I'm better able to glue stuff together, but if I already got in all that glue in class, then I don't necessarily have to, but that's me personally, but if you need to read the book, you need to read the book. In certain, in some things, I did read the book, but not in everything. I'll be honest. And then the book, but a resource that comes with this book is um, if you go onto the Elsevier website, even if you don't have this textbook, it comes free. You literally can just sign up for it and um, go like sign up for like the student accompanying thing. I forgot what it's called exactly, but if you Google a book and you go go um, go to like the online portion, and it's like this free service and it has like NCLEX review questions, summaries of the different chapters, and I would do the, all the NCLEX questions associated with the chapters um, that related to the readings in the course. And then I use this book, Med Search Success. This book is the bomb.com, so if you didn't get it, you get it. And it can also help you with fundamentals, I believe, depending on how your um, course is broken up. Because in my fundamentals class, they touched on a lot of topics in here. But then again, that all, all depends on how um, your courses are broken up in your nursing program. But definitely this for Med Search. And it has a lot of different questions. It's just questions, and it has a whole, and rationales for each, um, for each answer choice, um, whether it's right or it's wrong. And I found it really helpful because it was just able, again, to like channel my focus in the right direction when I was studying. So these are my tips on med surge, um, about how much time you should be putting into this. Um, you should be trying to put in as much time as possible. Ideally, when you come home, you should be reviewing the material just, just to make sure. Um, you, de you definitely don't want to leave to the last minute not understanding something um, the night before. Like By the time it's the night before of the exam, you want to at least understand stuff. There are situations, and I have definitely been in situations where somehow life fell upon me. <laughs> And I only had two days to study, and I did everything that I mentioned um, beforehand, and a lot of recordings. And another tip is studying right before um, going to bed, and making sure you get sleep because when you sleep, your the way your brain works, you form memories when you sleep. So you definitely want to um, get rest. Some this is not something you stay up all night because um, a lot of nursing is critical thinking and you need to be able to think and focus and prioritize because it's not just the information at hand. So yeah, and drink some water. I heard drinking water during the exam can increase your score by 25%. It's like something I heard, allegedly, but I do it in all my exams, so I don't know. I guess that helps. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really hope you guys don't hear my phone going off telling me you got some place to be, okay? But yes, I'll see you guys later.